Hello again, crafters. Today we are focused on prayer and we're going to make two crafts that are all about prayer and guide us and help us with those prayers. Now, there are a lot of great prayer crafts out there, but here's two more. The first one we're going to make is a cup of prayer. It could also be a jar of prayer. I'm going to use a styrofoam cup today. You can use any kind of cup. You can also use an old peanut butter jar or a glass jar or a shoe box or whatever kind of container you have and would like to decorate to hold your prayer requests. So we're going to decorate this now. I'm going to start with, you can have a caption to go along with this or you can write directly on your cup, however you prefer. So I'm going to add some decorations here. I've got some stickers that I'm going to throw on there. And I'm going to, I'm going to write directly on the cup. Or you could, like I said, do both of these or just one. So I'm going to write on here, Kristen's prayers. Of course, if you have a jar, it's going to be hard to write on it in which case you might want to attach a piece of paper or something like that. But we're going to write on there and can attach a few more stickers, whatever kind of fun decorations you might have to throw on. If you've got glitter and you want to be adventurous, go with that as well. Now I'm going to add my prayer requests. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use popsicle sticks. You could just use pieces of paper, but I'm going to write on some popsicle sticks and we're just going to, you can do as many or as few as you'd like to start off um, and try to make this a variety of requests and Thanksgiving. So I might have something like thanks for food, that's pretty simple and basic, but still important. Um, and you can write on one side or on both sides of these. And maybe your friend needs something, so we could just write their friend's name or the specifics of the request. Or you can make these generic so you can use them for a long time. Things like um, mom and dad, that could be thanks as well as something that you want help with. Um, could be something that's very specific and maybe you swap out these popsicle sticks all the time. Um, so as, as much or as little as you want it to be. Um, it could be even pets or other friends. That's clearly too dark to write on, but you get the idea. So once you've got your popsicle sticks, now it's pretty simple. We put the popsicle sticks into the cup or jar, container, whatever it is, and you can display it in a prominent place and make it something that you can use throughout the week, throughout the day, when it's prayer time. Maybe you do one of these at a time, maybe you do two of these at a time, maybe you go through them all every time you pray. But that is our craft number one for prayer. The next one is similar. It's a guide way that we can pray. Um, but this one, I'm going to start off with a piece of paper or a cardstock. And I'm going to decorate this. Um, and I'll start off, I'll say, pray always or pray for everything or however you want to do it and now I'm going to decorate a series of envelopes so I've got envelopes right here and I'm going to cut the tops off to make it a little easier you do not have to do that you can keep the tops on however you like this to go and for sake of spacing, I'm going to do four, but you can make this as big as you want. You can make your envelopes as big or small as you want. You can have a whole poster board full of them if you want. This is just the example version. So 
on each envelope, we're going to put sort of a category that we could have. Uh, and again, we want some of these things to be praises and some of them to be specific prayers of things that we need. Um, so I'm going to say we're going to put some individual categories here. This can be things like maybe you have specific prayers for family and friends. And then we could have prayers for me, events, specific things coming up. We can have praise and thanksgiving because it's important to remember to give God our thanks. And then we can have Maybe we have specific things with church, specific prayers for the church or people there. Now, we can add some fun decorations here because we always like decorations and an excuse to use stickers. Um, so, we'll throw on some of those. You can also draw some pictures here. You know, we could do like little happy faces or symbols for the family, or add photos. You can make this really special and specific and meaningful. Um, or, of course, just have it really basic if you don't want to take up too much time. Um, and so once you've got, oh, it's not sticking. Once you've got all of your decorations that you like, we are going to attach the envelopes onto the paper. You can do this with glue or tape, whatever works best for you. You can also staple to really secure it on there, however you want it to go. And I've got a little bit hanging off here since my paper is only so big, but yours might look a variety of ways. Now, once I've got everything attached, I'm going to cut some pieces of paper, you can use note cards or you can just use small paper strips. I'm going to do the latter. Um, and you can have these as big as you want, as small as you want. You can have a whole bunch of them. Um, and the idea here is that there's going to be different prayers that we will slip into these different envelopes. and. This is something that can't and really should rotate around. So, you know, in certain seasons, you'll have some things and then it might change. Uh, perhaps you have something that starts out as a request and then it graduates into the praise and thanksgiving category if there's something that is answered in a certain way. So, again, this could be as simple as writing someone's name or maybe you're writing down a specific request, something that's coming up. Um, and you could say that way, it's something that you can, this is, well, the popsicle sticks you can add to and adjust as well, but this is even more so, you can really rotate these out and change them throughout. And so again, you can pray for all of these every time you pray. You can pull out a few at a time. Um, you can pray for them however you prefer and like to pray. Um, and then it's just a great tool that you can use. You can put specific Bible verses on here, however you'd like it to go. But that way it's something that makes it very tangible to see, oh, here's these things that I'm praying for, I can remember it. And especially if you're moving these categories around, well, here's something that I can thank God for, something that specifically was really answered in a powerful way. So, a couple of fun prayer tools that you can make and take and display and hopefully use to remember how, when, where, and why we pray. So, take them, make them your own, 
have fun, make some crafts, make some disciples. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.